You know how like people become really prominent and successful and then like something comes out about their past and then it's all gone? I feel like that's gonna happen to me with organ like eating raw organs on YouTube. Although I don't know I don't know how, how much sense that would make, but uh, I, ever since I saw that scene with Daenerys Targaryen eating the raw heart, yeah, I think it was on the first or second season of Game of Thrones, uh, for eating the whole heart, heart of the horse, I was like, I gotta do this in a video. So I have a lamb So I have a lamb heart here and it seemed perfect to do this. And although I'm not looking forward to this, uh, I could definitely I don't know if I could definitely do it. I'll try to do it for you guys. Okay, okay, so here's the problem, guys. I'm not actually that hungry <laughs> right now. So, we'll give this a shot. We'll see how far I get through this. So this is from a lamb I killed about two weeks ago now. Still incredibly fresh. And I know you guys are thinking, two weeks ago, Frank, that's old meat. Most meat you buy in the supermarket is already a month old. So this is fresher than anything you'll get in the supermarket. And this is also for people saying, like, Frank, eat it with your hands. Oh, you carnivores need tools, you know. Not true. Honestly, I wish I could just, like, cut this with a rock or a caveman tool and just eat it because it would be way quicker and easier. Well, I think the point of this video is to do it this way, right? Guys, I had jaw surgery. I had braces twice. I could still do this, so. I'm just trying not to drip blood on the floor. You know, the indigenous people Aborigines in Australia used to believe if you ate the heart of your enemy, you would become stronger. Or, not necessarily that, but if you ate the heart of a great warrior, you would become braver. I don't know if that applies to Lamb per se. What if like he was good at batting his... What if the Lamb was good at ram uh, like hitting his head into other lambs like does that make him a great warrior what's um. interesting is the heart actually has a decent amount of fat on the outside
Hey, I only got a little bit on the floor. I don't know, that was a fun little video, right? Well, you know, it might not have been as bloody as the video. Uh, or, well, at least as bloody as the scene in Game of Thrones, but uh, it's definitely possible. doesn't taste too bad, and uh, I think it's realistic in the context of natural human palatability. You know, would someone have actually eaten a whole heart like that at once? Probably not. Maybe they would have just had a couple pieces, but... I just think that, you know, these vegans that say eat, you'd eat the meat raw, you'd go out in the wild and kill an and First of all, the going out in the wild and killing an animal with your bare hands, you know, that's the reason we're not monkeys anymore. It's because we use tools and we're intelligent. And you can eat. You don't need tools. You can literally eat pretty much every part of an animal raw with just a rock and, and the animal. That's literally it. You could literally break down the whole animal like that. It wouldn't be as easy as modern methods now, but what's certainly not possible is blending up 15 different vegetables and fruits from all parts of the world into a smoothie. And like you're going to argue and say, I don't have canine. I'm not getting into that. I'll do a video on herbivores in the future, uh, but Heart in general is an excellent source of B vitamins. It's a great source of choline. I believe it's also a pretty good source of folate. Uh, you know, it's not incredibly high in any particular fat soluble vitamins. It just has a nice balanced amount of all of them, as well as you know a decent amount of omega three. I'm assuming in the fatty tissue on the heart. So, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me, please just share the channel. Uh, check out my social media. If you guys are on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. If you want to watch the video on my Patreon, if you guys are interested in any aspects of the carnivore diet. I think I've covered a lot of topics so far in the past few weeks and hopefully in the next two or three months I'm envisioning that most of the important topics will be covered on my channel but definitely going to be some exciting content over the next few months. I think you guys are going to learn something every day.